welcome to Treddy Jam Down. Please subscribe, like, comment, and also put the post notifications on so every time we upload a video, you can see it. Out in the street, they call it murder. Yes, this is Treddy. We are in Fort Lauderdale. You can see the plane coming here on top of us. By the we want to um, give thanks and praise for everybody here. We have all the family here. And we have a brother-in-law here who will have to um, go and talk to us, Jamaican and the people all over the world about what's going on and um, try to give us a little comfort and thing with whatever is going on. This is my brother-in-law here. I'm a sister. They are missionaries from all over the world. They will, have a they will give you a good talk about it. This is another beautiful lady here who comes to subscribe to and deliver. <laughs> all right. We're, we're on YouTube. So, yeah, we're on YouTube. So, this is Emerald and Auntie Phyllis. Uncle Emerald has something to say about yeah. everything and would give us a good prayer to comfort us we and all about it. All of you who are hearing us today, it's a pleasant day down here in Florida and we have a family get together, uh, dozens of us here and um, all related to each other, Jamaicans, and we are thinking of the people in Jamaica today. And your problems you have down there, just like we have here, the coronavirus, for example. We hope that you are getting the treatment you need and that more and more people will get healthy again. We, we also hope that you, you, you are getting the nutrition you need and, and, and you have the funds to take care of your family and we are praying for you because of that. And we thank God for our friends here and relatives because we um, we also suffer from the coronavirus, but some of us have already gotten all the shots and we are thankful to God for that. And if you get a chance to get this shot, you should get it because you will keep better health. We want to wish you God's blessing I pray that God will uh, bless you all, wherever you might be. And um, your family, your children. We live in Atlanta, Georgia, and I tell you what, there's a lot of Jamaicans and Caribbean people living in Atlanta. They have grocery stores, little supermarkets, they have party places, they have everything. And Jamaicans are doing well in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm sure down here in Miami, uh, Fort Lauderdale, and this whole area. Um, we pray God will help you down in Jamaica that, uh, and other islands in the Caribbean too, that you will overcome this virus, coronavirus. And if you get a chance to get the, the, um, the, the injection, the vaccine, don't be superstitious. Go and take it so you can be well and, and you can live to take care of your, uh, your family. Uh, all of us here, we are first, second, third Jamaica, third generation Jamaicans, you know. Some of them were born right here. And so America is their first country. We are Christian speak people too, and so we pray for all of you in Jamaica, all of you in Trinidad, Barbados, anywhere in the Caribbean, you, anywhere in the Caribbean where you are, and anywhere in the United States, if you hear this, that God will bless you. And if you are sick, we pray that God will touch your body and help you to be well again. We just wish you the blessing of God. This man, Derek Suter, he's from Kingston, St. Andrew. Treaded, treaded them calm. He was a wonderful young man.
He's an old man now. <laughs> but he's still okay. Love the country of his birth. Loves his sisters who are all here. One of them sitting right here beside uh, me right here. She, her name is Lady Thomas. <laughs> She's my wife. She has some more beautiful sisters. This is a nerd with you. Give us a moment, folks. The plane is passing right over us. Pray for all the people who might be hearing us today, wherever you may be. Father, we thank you that as people who are originally from Jamaica and other Caribbean islands, that we can think of our people today. And pray that you would bless all the people of the Caribbean now and resources are short we know we pray you'd provide the material things the people need but even equally important we pray that you will help them to get all the all the vaccine that they need so that everybody in these islands from trinidad barbados uh, montserrat coming all the way up to uh, the, the caribbean also turks and caicos islands wherever they are here in Jamaica, Bahamas, help all these people, Lord, and help them to get help and recover if they have the virus. And if they don't have it, to be cautious and to eventually get the coronavirus shot so that they might be healthy. God bless you. Take care. One of these days, we hope to see you. Who knows, we might take a ship and come down to Trinidad or Barbados or, we did it before, many of us, and travel the Caribbean. God bless you all. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, yeah this is Miss World. This is right? Miss World from Jamaica. <laughs> yes. A beautiful sister came up for vacation. Yeah, man. Okay. Oh, man. She's a citizen. But she came up. Um, she's a senior citizen. Yeah. No, I'm not. And her other sister, her younger sister, is Miss Universe. Yes, the world, too. It's a pleasure being here. I'm having a great time so far with my older brother. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Age is just a number. Age is just a number. Yes, this is Trudy. An Arctic Indian. An Arctic Indian. We know you. And today, and today we got a special guest. I got a cousin. He got a little seven M. Come in the middle. Come in the middle. And he just did some upgrades to it. So um, we're gonna ask him some of the upgrades that he did. You know, he's young, up and coming, and not a lot of young people are getting in the super scene anymore. So we're gonna ask him a few questions and he's gonna tell us what he got so far. So Cuz, tell us about your project. Uh, Mark III Super, uh, Max. Talk up, talk up, talk Nano up. Nano swapped it from automatic to manual. You got target top or sunroof? Target top. Target top. And stock. So you have the 7M? Yeah, 7M. You have a turbo. stock dome pipe? Everything stock. So Everything far. stock? So um, for his upgrade, he can do fuel pressure regulator, injectors. Exhaust. You, he did, you did the exhaust already, right? No, we didn't do it. Yeah, so he can do the exhaust, the turbo. I have a turbo manifold. I'll give it to you. And you can do that upgrade. And he can also do the injector upgrades without doing the computer swap. So how does it drive so far with the with the engine swap, with the gearbox swap? What? It, it drives, it feels like it drives faster than the automatic. That's basically it. Yeah, so Beanie went from automatic to stick shift. He's going to have a lot more top end in Fort and Fifth because that, that rear end comes with a, a lock system. They call it the diff lock for the automatic. So with that in the five speed, he, he's gonna have a lot more top end. He's gonna be running close to what the Turbo Super would be running. So he just needs a few upgrades. The 7M is just as good as the 2J. The 
the one, the one G. Or the one, well, the, I don't even count the one G because two G is, is really the lick, but back in the days, the seven M was the king of the show. So, you know, so we're gonna put it over to Uncle Dino and see what he got going on in Homestead. I ain't got nothing going on in Homestead, you know. I just got my Bobcats. That's my living. I got two Bobcats on a little old tractor. I can make a, a few hundred dollars an hour with them because I'm retiring this year. June 4th, yesterday, I'm 66. Click it, click. Oh, 66. So all I'm going to do right now, I'm not working no more. We're not, I'm not going to be in a slave driver business no more. I'm going to do my own little thing and call it a little um, social security. I and mean, my mommy will survive, try to survive off of that little thing. But uh, you can't survive off of that little money. You have to do something that you can be able to eat food, eat a good food and thing. Even though you own your home and thing, you know what I mean? But you still have to do a little adjustment that you can eat a little food or else, you know what I mean? Because. So that's how it goes, yeah? That is a trade, you know?